What is going on guys, it's Acorn Man back with another LEGO Star Wars review. In today's video we're going to be talking about the 75345 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack, just released on January 1st, 2023, with 119 pieces and retailing for $19.99. Real quick guys, be sure to drop a like and a comment on this video if you're a big fan of this set or the 501st. Now let's get this review started by taking a look at the box. And here we have the box, quite a bit going on here for such small packaging. We've got the cannon and the minifigs at the center of the box, of course, with our minifig selection at the bottom and our set info and logo up at the top. Also gotta give a shout out to this 20th anniversary logo for the Clone Wars. Fingers crossed that means we get more Clone Wars sets in 2023. We've got the 501st Clone Specialist at the top, and our contents and features on the back. Not really a whole lot there. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the box. So let's take a look at the minifigs. And here we have our minifig selection for this set, consisting of one 501st clone specialist, one 501st officer, and two 501st heavy troopers. A very interesting selection to be sure, but a welcome one. Taking a look at the 501st clone specialist first, this one has to be my favorite minifig of the set. I just absolutely love that visor, which is movable by the way, just like all of these. As you can see, he's basically just your 501st trooper, with a few extra markings and a slightly modified helmet, but he's got a pretty good amount of detail on the chest, legs, and back, just as all of these guys do. And underneath the helmet we have the standard clone trooper face, shared by all four of these guys for obvious reasons. Next up we have the 501st officer, also looking pretty good. His blue belt helps him to stand out from the other clones a little bit. I'm also just a big fan of range finders, so definitely happy to see one here. Also has a good amount of detail on the chest, legs, and back. And lastly, the set comes with two 501st heavy troopers, and I think a lot of people are really going to like these guys. I really dig all the extra details on the chest, as well as the unique helmet design. I also like the choice in blaster, as well as the backpack, although unfortunately it hides a lot of the details on the back of the figure. Alright guys, and that is our minifig selection for this set. And even though I don't think these guys are nearly as iconic as just the standard 501st clone trooper, I do think we have some really interesting variations here. Although since these guys are just variations on the 501st troopers, I don't really think that lends them as well to army building, especially since you have three different types of troopers here. Don't get me wrong, I think they're all cool, I think they're all really interesting, and I also do really like the look of them. But from an army building perspective, I just don't think there's as much here. Let's move on to the build. And here we have the build of the set, obviously being a small walking cannon. I believe this is supposed to be a miniature version of the AV-7 cannon, which we did get a set of a while back. And if that's the case, I think they did a really good job. There is quite a bit of detail packed into this little thing, and I really dig it. Especially with this coil piece here and the sharper pieces down below. Really interesting build choices, but I gotta say, I really like it. And as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a missile here. Pretty easy to fire that, but a lot harder to find, unfortunately. The only thing that I don't really like about this design are how thin the legs are. It just looks like they wouldn't be able to actually hold this thing up. But they do have quite a bit of articulation being able to move to the sides, as well as up and down on the lower joint. And the cannon itself has a bit of articulation as well, although not really a whole lot as you can see. We also have a spot for a clone to sit as he mans the cannon, right here next to the barrel. It's not really the most secure seat, but it does the job. Alright guys, so that's going to cover everything on the 75345 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. And what do I think? I think this makes for a great set, but kind of just a decent battle pack. While I love all of these minifigures, I just don't think they're as good for army building as the standard 501st Troopers are. I also don't think this cannon is as good for army building either. I mean, compared to everything else in your army, this is going to be distractingly small. But overall, I do like this set, and I'll give it a 7 out of 10. To be honest, though, I would have preferred that we just got a battle pack for a different legion entirely. Another 212th legion set would have been nice. A 187th legion battle pack would have been really cool. I just feel like they kind of played it a little too safe with this one. But overall, like I said, I do like it, and the AV-7 cannon is one of my favorite Republic weapons, so I am a little bit biased towards this one. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this review. Make sure to like and comment down below if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for more LEGO Star Wars content, and I will see you guys in the next one.